Right, let me just share with you what I've just done. I got in the wrong side of the car. <laughs> We're on a ride at Epcot and as the ride starts you get to pick the language. So my friends were sat in front of me. This is a language that I picked for them. Well, hello. Um, I'm at Dizzy's Animal Kingdom. Is there a sign there? Yes. Um, just leaving early, I've got to get a bus to the airport to pick up another car. So what's happening? We're going to get a bus from here to a resort and then a resort to Disney Springs and then just like a normal service bus to the airport to get the car. So let's go on an adventure, shall we? What a wonderful phrase. Ha! He's singing it. Um, right, so I got on the first bus like 10. I've ended up at um, Fort Wilderness Campground, somewhere like that. Never been here before. Just behind me. Horses. It smells quite horsey. So we're just waiting for another bus now to Disney Springs. I think I mentioned that at the start, didn't I? Um, sweaty out. It's so noisy on here, isn't it? Um, now, this is a normal service bus. <sighs> right, I've had a rate nightmare today. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you about it tomorrow because I've just been to Cairns for some chicken and I had five pieces of chicken and on my way back out, I just I snuck in another one. Let me show you what it looks like. And then... Can you see that? It's well fit. Right, I'll speak to you tomorrow and I'll show you the car and I'll tell you why I already hate it. See ya! That is a fucking terrifying thing to find on your bathroom floor, isn't it? I do it every time though. Have you ever heard of a Coca-Cola float? So basically it's Coke and some ice cream. I don't get it either. Let's give it a go. Them dudes over there just trying some Beverly. It's actually weird. Just, it's so typically American. It really is. I think I like it. Do you know, my eyes are watering. I don't know if you can just see that. Because I've been sat here with the air conditioning blowing in my face. Right, it's 20 past six. We're going on a road trip, it's a bit dark. So I'll talk to you when it gets a bit lighter, all right? Right, so if you remember from the last time I was here with Dee, um, we fell in love with Bucky's, which was just an amazing gas station that does amazing food. Um, so I stopped for breakfast. It's about, I don't know, I didn't turn the car on. But anyway, we've got, these are beaver tops. salted and then um, we've got a brisket and egg taco let's see if I can open this without throwing it everywhere 
Oh no. So <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? Ugh. Might work. Mm. So far, it's just egg. Um, so we've got a long day in store. We're going to watch a band tonight. Off to a place in South Carolina called Simpsonville. I picked that particular place because how have they wrapped this? Look how they've wrapped that. That's a annoying isn't it I'm going to have to oh, do you know what you're not going to I'll tell you how nice it is that's crazy good <laughs> right I think just get on the road and I'll call you back call you back I'll talk to you right so it's half past twelve we've got about five out, uh, three hours to go um, and I've stopped at Hardy's. I've stopped at a gas station. I'd use half a tank of fuel. So I was like, let's just put 35 in. And it's only given me a quarter of a tank. <laughs> I forgot how expensive these are. Um, so I stopped at Hardy's. Look at them prize. I swallowed it then. Um, very good. So it was a, a 6.99 meal deal thing. And you get a double cheeseburger and a wrap. So we'll have a look at both. Um, she asked what my name was. I said Andy. She heard Andy. Close than what I have had. Right. Uh, cheeseburger. The bun's quite hard. So it's a double. With cheese on. The bun's very hard, actually. It's not bad. And then this, they were raving about this. Really greasy. Um, this is their hand, whatever, chicken, hand battered chicken or something. In a wrap that's not wrapped. If you can see the... Oh. This is annoying, isn't it? Give me a sec. Right, I've done the best I can. Just messy, really messy. Not great, it's not bad. <laughs> All you're gonna see on this part of the trip, right, is me just eating in it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll probably see you at the hotel. This has got a very interesting smell. It doesn't smell like biscuits like that one that I stayed in once, but it's not far off. So I was busting for a wee, so I've just had to go, but as I was having a wee, I could smell popcorn, but I don't think my wee smells of popcorn. I think it was just for the smell around here, honestly. Right, let's have a look at the room properly. That's a big old TV. That's a big chair. Shall we have a look at the view? Do you see if the sofa's comfy? It's cold. Got air conditioner right there. And look at the air. Two TVs. And the two tellies. Nice big closet. And then popcorn bathroom. The massive shower. Oh, 
Right, so we went to a local pizza place for what they call a white pie. So it's like garlic, cheese and something else, I can't remember what. Um, it smells amazing, so garlicky. And, show my name right. So I'm only gonna have a couple of slices and then I'm gonna save the rest for tonight, I think. I know you're all waiting for me to have a, a slice. Have a bite of it. Right, you ready? It's gonna be hot. Mmm. You hear how crispy that is? Oh, it's really good. It's cheesy, it's greasy, it's crispy, <laughs> garlicky. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night, Andy? Good. <laughs> Do, am I always good now? It's always a good night's sleep now, isn't it? Maybe I'm just better at sleeping. Um, bed was comfy, pillars were all right, quilt was very nice. Air conditioning were a bit nippy like, but that's my own choice, isn't it? Right, so we've got the eight hour drive back down to Orlando today. It's 8.40, so we'll go for some breakfast and I guarantee the breakfast is gonna be rubbish. It always is, isn't it? It'll be biscuits, gravy, that American sausage, and some potatoes, which won't be cooked right. If it's hash brown, I'll be so excited. If it is crap, then we'll get spot on the road. Come on, let's go and investigate. Oh, oh that looks good. It's a pork sausage, of course, the patties. Turkey sausage. Mm. So we've gone for pot sausage, scrambled egg, and a slightly toasted muffin. Let's see how long it's going to take me to get back to Orlando. Search, recent searches. Oh, there. Birkdale Street. Eight hours and three minutes. Now, because it's a drive, you're just going to see me eating, aren't you? <laughs> Right, I thought I'd, I've stopped and I've not bought food. That's a first, isn't it? So I might as well just tell you about my strategy, haven't I? So I've gone for a three-stop strategy today. Um, I've got something in my eye. So that was stop number one. We're just over two hours in. <clears throat> the next one um, will be to fuel. So yesterday, fueling was quite expensive. Um, for like a quarter of a tank, I paid like $30 and I was like, this is going to be expensive. But then when I got to the time we went to Simpsonville, I, I was on half a tank again. Fuel, it was like 32 or something. So I, I don't know why it was vastly cheaper. So hopefully when I get down to a tank, that'll be stop number two. Um, and we'll eat. So I want to find somewhere exciting to eat and not somewhere boring. So like I said, six hours left. Stop hopefully in about another two, two and a half. And we'll see what we get up to. Now, which way am I going? Oh, I want to show you my sat nav so you can see how stupid these roads are. These these on ramps are just ridiculous. So they're into this whole like spinning round thing. So instead of just do what we would do and just join, just drive up a slip road. With these, they, they love these like curly ramps. I don't quite understand it. Also, I think it's time for sunglasses. Right, so the place you just saw, Freddy's. Um, steak burgers, apparently. So what I've got is some cheese curds. If you know me now, I'm not a massive fan of cheese. Do 
tastes like candy floss. <laughs> and then he, he threw them up the fries are tiny. As in the actual fry itself, not the portion. Try them. There's a fry sauce, let's try the fry sauce. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, that's just Thousand Island, I think. So let's try that. It's definitely Thousand Island, I'm sure it is. Mm. You will not convince me otherwise. And then the burger. I went for a double steak burger with bacon. This feels quite hefty. Oh, I'm going to spill that. So that's... So she said, do you want pickles, onions something else on I was like yeah sling it on right let's let's go this side are you ready mm. very cheesy yeah I like it I'm glad me way for it it's all right all right we've got um search so this is stop number two and my, my three stop strategy this is stop number two. Where are we? Three hours and 18 minutes away. I wonder if I'll get away without stopping again. Sounds like a challenge. I've just been squirting my sauce out and look where it went. <sighs> Furious. Right, we're home. Um, I like I pulled up and I just had to like dash into the house really quickly to have a wee because I managed to get away with a two stop two stop strategy. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um let's have a look at the vehicle data and find out how long it's taken. So it said it would take eight hours and two minutes, it's taken eight hours and nine. Um five hundred miles. I don't think that's bad. I don't know what this means though. Miles in electric? I just don't know. So because it's so early, it's like six o'clock, I think I'm going to just dump my stuff in the house and maybe go to a park. There's a couple of parks that are close till nine tonight. So may as well make the most of it, haven't we? <sighs> that don't look like a park, Andy. No, it's a sofa. So I got ready, got in the car. I just sat there and I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. So I just came back into the house. What I'm going to do is, at some point, I will go back out and have something to eat. But I'm now just battling so I don't fall asleep. I feel a little bit ill. Probably just exhaustion, aren't I? What do you reckon? Right, so tonight, we're going to try on my phones. There we go. Oh, it's still horrendous. Slim's chicken. So it's very busy. I don't really want to be talking. But this sauce here, this is a slim sauce, right? Absolutely beautiful. It's a mixture of, I'd say, like a mayonnaise and a tomato ketchup. But it's got like a, like a, like a bit of taste to it. I can't quite describe it. It's really good. I wanted to talk to you, walking out and into the car, but it's raining well bad. You probably hear it. So that just there is a 7-Eleven, right? And it's literally across from where I am. And I'm gonna drive there because of the rain. I really fancy, I don't like sweet stuff. Really fancy a bun of some description. That chicken was good. I think if I have to um, like give tears of chicken, it's gonna go, oh, it's hard because I love canes and I love uh, Chick-fil-A. So I think they're gonna have to be joined and then that one might just underneath that was good but don't beat them too did you hear dog then and <laughs> a me video where it didn't just abruptly end and then cut to me in the kitchen just wouldn't be a me video would it <laughs> so the reason why i did that is because it's just one big 40 minute video and if you remember nobody wants to see more than 20 minutes of andy b 
So a few things, there's three things that I need to mention about that. So the first one, do you remember when I was sat in the car, I'd been, I'd got the three buses to the airport to get the rental car. And then I was sat in the car and I was like, I don't like nightmare, I'll tell you about it later and never told you. So what happened was, I got to the airport, I walked in, I said, I've come to collect my rental car. And the guy was like, yeah, okay, then have you got your driving license, your credit card and your passport? So I was like, passport? I've never been asked for a passport when getting a rental car. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, you need your passport. And I'm like, well, anyway, we debated about it. And I have a photo of my passport. So I was like, I've got a photo of it. He said, oh no, no, it has to be the real thing. So I wasn't happy. And I thought it was an epic journey to get back, to come back again. And it was about like half past seven at night, maybe seven o'clock. I just didn't have the time. So I got a Lyft, which is like an Uber. It cost me $140. <laughs> so I went airport, villa, back to the airport. I walked in, hi, I've come to pick up my rental car. He's like, yeah, have you got your credit card and your driver license? I'm like, yeah, do you want my passport? And he went, no, no, no. I was like, no. Went, no, I just need to know you've got one. <laughs> I wasn't happy. Nothing more I could do. Um, I was telling you about the concert I went to, but then I never actually told you what I was going why I was going there, who I was going to see. It was country music, obviously. And I went to that particular town because they were playing in an amphitheatre and I thought, that sounds cool. The The following day, they played a lot closer to Orlando, but I fancied the amphitheatre. Anyway, I got there and it turns out an amphitheatre is just a stage in a field. <laughs> so I drove all that way to just see them sing a song in a field. And then finally... Food. It's that is that the first part of that video is the first week. In the first week, for the first four days, we all shared the one car. There were six of us, and we were sort of just bitting and bobbing to parks, and they were just finding their feet. They've not been to Orlando for years, um, so everyone else were just finding their feet. So I didn't bother filming anything. It was only really when I got sort of like on the road that I started filming me eating and nothing else, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's seven days worth of food, don't we? In fact, I think that was probably about three days condensed, wasn't it? Uh, the next video is much better. It's not. I just don't eat as much. I do other things but eat, as well as eat. Right, see you later. Bye.